Right, this is how I do automated provisioning for a new installation of Eduduck. Eduduck is a Django Python project. And I can use an automated script to provision a new server, whether that is for staging or production, or in this case, it's a brand new development box. The only thing that you need to make sure that is on the remote server, if it's the staging or production server, is that you've actually already created a user account on that computer and secure shell access. Then on the machine which you are working in your office you uh, need to install the Fabric software which is the uh, available on fabfile.org. So Fabric itself is written in Python and it allows you to script an automated provisioning of whatever server, your remote server, or in this case the development box itself. So the same automated script that you create will provide the same environment on your staging, production and development boxes. So I've written the script already and I've hosted it on my repo in GitHub. Um, the script written in Python has a few functions. So I wrote one called provision which installs the software which I want. Um, I need to get this script downloaded onto my development machine, onto my local machine, from where I'm going to run it. The script itself will operate on a remote server. So to download it, I'm just right click, download it. I've already done that. So the fab file is on my home folder in my local machine. So it's a little bit strange because obviously I'm going to use the downloaded fab file on my local machine to install the, the software on the same machine pr pretending that it is in fact a remote machine. So that the, uh, the local machine will need to have on it, it will need to have the fabric software installed so that it can run. That's already in. The software, the script that I wrote is downloaded already, so I should be able to run. It refers to the function within the script provision. It also refers to the host where the, where the action is to take place. In this case, this is going to be on the local development box. It could equally be some username here at staging.eduduck.com. So now it's trying to log in to the target machine, which is of course just the same machine in this case, but I'll have to log in using Secure Shell. Okay, so that's okay. It's um, just saying that my SQL Server installation requires a password. I can let the script create a difficult password, which I would do for production or uh, staging, but because this is just for development purposes, I just put in uh, an easy password. I should switch to using obfuscated input, which I will do at some point soon. Okay, so it's installing various pieces of software, almost too quick to talk about. Um, it, it's, it's installing virtualenv, which is, isolates instances of Python binaries, packages and settings unique for each web app. So you can actually have multiple web apps installed on the same server with their own isolated environments, which is great for dependencies and so on. It installs Python pip, which just installs Python packages, MySQL server, uh, Python MySQL bindings. It installs a, a very lightweight web server called Nginx and it installs tools for version control called git. Uh, these tools work nicely with github.com. You, you can use um, git without using github.com though. So once it's finished doing all that, then it will install a couple of Python packages within the virtual environment. Um, and that should be it. So we'll just wait and see how long it takes.
tell you, it's also installing the Django software, which is kind of handy if you're running a Django project. That's it. <coughs> and it just reminds me of the password that I set. Again, that needs to be obfuscated a little bit. Uh, it's maybe, well, it, this has all been done over Secure Shell, so unless someone's standing over my shoulder, it should be okay. Well, that's it. I'm not sure how long that took, but uh, it certainly wasn't too painful. And I should now have all the software that I need for my environment. All I've got to do now is deploy. And there is another function, which is uh, called fab deploy.